Hi, good morning. Right then, um, the kidney grills on the BMW i3. I've decided to change mine um, from, originally when I got them, it was black on the inside and it was silver trim, which I didn't didn't like too much because the, the silver trim does look a bit large and makes the headlights look really tiny. So what I've done is I bought a set of blue ones as you do and stuck them on. Uh, kept them on for about a year, a year and a half. I did quite like it, but it, something just didn't look right. So I decided to get the outer silver trims done in black, which I'm going to be picking up in about an hour's time from the uh, painters. But trying to remove the the silver trims from the, the inner part was quite difficult. You can break tabs, so it's quite easy to do that. So if I just show you now um, what they look like with the outer rings removed, uh, I'll show you that now and show you the tabs. Right then, here are the trims the light on so as you can see these are the inner parts and you can see there was, that's where the the outer silver rim clips in if you're taking these off for the first time you've got to watch there's lots of double-sided sticky tape around the around the edges holding it on I don't know why they have that because they don't really rattle or make a noise when you're going over bumps not that I can hear anyway so the best thing to do is just when it's on the car as you pull off the bottom section just pour some isopropyl alcohol down here and it'll slowly eat into the glue and I'll be able to come off but what you've got to watch when you best to pull the bottom off first because you can see these these little uh, posts there they actually go into the car but you've got to watch these ones at the top here because a lot of people just pull it straight off the, this way You've got to pull it, push it up. So I can put it, push it up so you release those two top tabs as they can break. Uh, let's just have a quick look. These are the outer rings. I'll just zoom out there a bit more. That's better. So that's what they do look like. And these are a bit of a pain in the neck to take off as well. I found it best to start from this end or this end and just slowly put a flat bladed screwdriver in there and you just want to overcome this tab here and this one here and then slowly as you lift that up you just just put, pull it up this way and it will release those i mean it's all plastic so it's easily broken but there you go right i'm on my way to the painters in about an hour to pick up the these trims have done them in gloss black for me, which is, looks a lot better. It's an uh, interesting material. It seems like metal, but it's not. The painter told me it's, it's actually plastic. You can see part of it's chipped here. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'll do another video when I put it on the car so uh, you can see how it actually goes on. But I'm not going to be using double-sided sticky tape on it. I don't really see there's any need that I can't see them <laughs> coming off there's one screw at the top and three along the bottom and it's not as if the car produces that much power that it's going to come flying off I presume they've just done it for purposes of rattling but uh, I don't I don't notice anything when they're on without the tape right then here we are got them back from the painters so we're going to do um, not no, too too bad a job actually. So what we're going to do is let's slot this in in first. You just got to push the clips in like that. And these ones will just clip in. You can see that there. It snaps into position there. There you go. That one's not quite in. There's always one. There you go. Brilliant. As I said earlier, when you're taking it off, you've got to be a bit careful because they can the tabs can get broken. So we'll start at the top first, work my way around. Mm. 
and that seems to slot in quite easy. There you go. Right then, let's go and pop them on the car. Um, they're held in by these little screws here. I think they're Torx 8, I think. So you've got three along the three along the bottom, one, one on the top. But I'll show you on the car. You've got to be careful with these little posts here. All right, here we are at the car. So, as I was explaining before, see those little posts there? They will actually hook into that bonnet. So you're basically just gonna slot that on like that. What you've got to watch is when you're pulling it off, you don't just pull it straight up like that. And otherwise you can see there, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna snap those little lugs off there. So then once that's on, there's just three screws along the bottom. And then one at the top there. So I'll just uh, show you that. Okay, I'm gonna screw the first one in. So I'm trying to do this one-handed, so another screw on there. So we'll do the top one now, which is just up there. From the factory you're going to have tape holding the, the top section. There's going to be tape along here and all along here and also on the bottom part here and here and uh, it's very easy to break. They're really, I mean, as you can see, that's not, there's no rattling or anything. It's quite on there, and that's only two screws. That's quite solid. Well, I'll just uh, finish them all up and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. So you've got the one screw up there and your three there, two there and one at the end there. Oh, that's what it looks like, all done up nicely. The uh, painter's done it in a special plastic paint for me, so assured me it wouldn't wouldn't chip or crack, so any time will tell. But there you go, that's how you remove the kidney grills and free fit them. Thanks for watching.